Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you tonight is something that I'm noticing in the wake of the Kansas City Chiefs shooting around the parade. This is bigger than gang violence. This is bigger than minors with firearms. The left is letting the mask slip. And I want to show you what they're doing, particularly around gun control, and the thin line that they try to walk between common sense gun regulations and beyond the pale actions for their desired outcome is getting really, really transparent. Everything is linked in the description box below. You're going to want to see every second of this. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. All right, my brothers and sisters. So one of the things that I can honestly say is this is why I believe that we will win in the end. We will pass our blessings of our rights on to the next generation. Because the left, particularly in the gun control area, are going so far beyond the pale of normalcy and accepted behavior in order to achieve their means, at least in their minds, they're going to damage their cause with the middle across the board. Here's two things I'm about to show you that happened. Two separate things. Listen to this, because the first one is about the truth about what they really want with guns. Check Kansas City Mayor. Check this out. Kansas City Mayor, we can't be fully safe if people are, quote, freely walking around with even just a classic revolver. Okay, so that whole mask of common sense gun regulations, they believe in the Second Amendment, but you know all those lines they throw at you? Just openly said, even revolvers. It's not the scary gun, it's not the machine gun switches, it's revolvers. That is the most baseline, basic, you know what I was going to say, that is a basic item. So now it's just any type of gun in order to be safe. Understand, it was 10 minutes ago, common sense regulations that we can have our second amendment and then we can also support gun rights. It's not, a, it's a false choice, Kamala Harris. Um, this guy just said the quiet part out loud. It's the mayor of Kansas City. Now, let me show you what he actually said, his whole quote. So then we're gonna move on to the next one, which is in my opinion, be even worse. On Thursday's broadcast of NPR's All Things Considered, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas, Democrat, said that if you don't have metal detectors, quote, then how can we ever fully be safe in a city, a state, and perhaps a country where we know that people are freely walking around with AR-15s, with modified handguns with switches, with any number of issues, or frankly, even just your old classic revolver? And if we know that one can act with impunity with that, then it's hard to say we'll ever be fully safe as I think we'd like to idealize ourselves to be. Two things on that. He just openly said, any guns exist in our population, we can't ever be fully safe. That's just like Lawan Grisham. The Democratic Party is letting the mass slip across the board on their true gun control desires. They are losing discipline. That is incredibly important to see. And then, of course, I can't go out from that quote without um, highlighting the obvious. Glocks with switches, which would be an NFA item, which would be a violation of federal law, creating a machine gun. You can't do that. Well, if they're doing it, and that's a thing in Kansas City, Missouri, and you're the mayor, you're kind of throwing gun control under the bus because it shows you right there criminals are going to criminal. And that's before I even get to the whole revolver thing. But now, that's the first thing. Let me show you something else that's going on. This is another leftist who likes gun control, but this one, he's a musical type, John Mellencamp. Listen to what he just said. He just told the news to do this. John Mellencamp on how to end violence. Show America the carnage. I'm not being callous, and I, not, and I know it will be painful to see, but sad to say, I think it's the only way to shock America out of its stupor, Singer says. Now, he's going down the line that the left has adopted of show all the tragedies that happen all over the world, all over the United States, and show them on TV, and make those parents see, see bodies of dead children. That's literally what they're advocating for. I'm curious if they would advocate for the exact same thing for abortion. I'll just leave that there. Anyway, let's continue. Let me show you what he said. John Mellencamp, a longtime advocate for gun control, shucker, issued a statement Friday condemning gun violence and encouraging America to confront the carnage in order to stop it. Quote, if we as a country want to find our collective will within ourselves to change our gun laws, let's stop playing silly political games. Show the carnage on the news. Show the American people the dead children and others who have been struck down. Show us what guns and bullets can do to the human body. Their mask is slipping. Anything to achieve their means. That's not just a clever phrase. They fully believe this on the gun controlling left. 
this is beyond the pale. When you're talking about showing dead bodies of children on the news in order to achieve your gun control means, you've gone a little too far. When you're reanimating dead children's voices using AI and then calling political uh, actors and then calling uh, legislators, you've gone too far. When you're talking about taking every gun, including a classic revolver, you've gone too far. Everything is slipping and you're seeing not only their end desires, but also the means of which they are willing to do in order to get there. It's going to cost them in the middle. The political middle looks at this kind of stuff and they will say, no way, I want no part in it. We have pushed them to the edge, to the brink of level war. They don't feel like they are making any progress like they want and they are getting to the more extreme. That's what's happening. We're going to do more content on it as we as it continues, which is only going to ramp up during the political season of 2024. But two more things, because this just is also gross. The news media need to be brave enough to let Americans see what slaughtered children look like. Otherwise, I fear that too many perceive gun violence as an abstract, a story that's repeated nearly every day to numbing effect, Mellencamp continued. Now that's going down the line. Again, the left, where they say, oh, people must not care because they're just getting numb to it. So let's shock them back into the system by showing them dead bodies of children. This is, this is the left. These are the people who are trying to tell you from a moral authority argument that they're right and you don't need your rights because they're moral and they're smarter than you. Th that, that's them. All right, and last thing, this is where the, the mindset comes from, because this is clearly so commonplace in every, like, up to date in 2024. The singer, who questioned the Second Amendment on his 2023 song, Hey God, likened the situation to the Vietnam War, where protests against the conflict only increased when footage of the brutality of the war was shown on news broadcasts. You are now conflicting what you perceive as gun violence, which is really criminal behavior dressed up using guns, as the same thing as a Vietnam War. And then therefore, since you connected those two dots, now you're gonna say, well, we put the Vietnam War on TV and that increased protest. So now we should put all the uh, murdered uh, bodies of children on TV and show them the carnage. That'll get more protests. What it's going to do is push the middle away from them. No one is going to accept that as normal behavior, even in 2024. It's not normal behavior. And it's twisted and it's wrong. But that is why we're going to win in the end because they are going so far left because they've lost the ability to shock people out of their rights. So they're going even further to get a bigger shock response. I'm going to do an entire video on this whole thing later this weekend, but I hope that I landed this plane. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.